In this discussion, you can see how to use get underscore metadata method and how to use and what is the purpose of this method. In case you missed previous discussion about how to use ensure underscore one method, please check link is given in description. First, we need to understand why this method is useful in Odoo and what is the purpose and how to get data. Let's see how to use this method. Before going to terminal and solving the technical part, let me give you some overview how to why this this method is very important going to front end side usually we are going to here in student profile and i will show you this records for the number purpose but right now you can see here i just added one developer mode here and you can see this bug icon you can click here and you can see here one more menu here but it won't be display in list view it will always display in form view and once I will click here and once I will click to this bug menu you can see here view metadata once I will click here you can see ID then after XML ID no update then after what is the uh, the creation of this records username then after what is the date and then after the same thing what is the last date modified for this record and the last modified date you can see here you can get this all the information for using the get underscore metadata method but here you can see there is a two type of records one is a you can preloaded data from the xml side as well as in csv side and then after another record is used manually created by the user this is a usually created by me as a user from odoo and so usually you will not uh, you will not get any data about xml id then after this one these two things will not available but if i'm going to in cells part and in cells part i'm going to in activity types you can see this is preloaded data while installing cells module or you can in your uh, like as a easy to understand whenever you are trying to install any module and that module having the some demo data or as a actual data they feed up while installing the module that time you can see like preloaded data is visible so user don't want to add one more time in manually it's a time consuming that's why Odoo give like a demo data like they will give you a one more simple way you can create a record in your code in xml and either in csv file we will see these things in further our discussion how to create records but we don't need to right now remember that part only we need to just remember is there is a two type of record we will feed into the database first one is either the user will create from here like create button and you are just adding a record from here and save it so it will create by the user and one more thing is created by Odoo itself. It means like they have a demo data or a data file in Odoo and while installing any module, like it will create all the records while installing the module. So that time you can see, okay, let me go to this meeting record. And if I'm check here, view metadata, you will see here this, this one like xml id is a mail this one mail underscore activity underscore data underscore meeting so this is what happened is while mail module create uh, like while installing a mail module it will automatically create this record so this is not a many uh, this is not created by any user it's created by the odoo itself from the xml file okay for the double check like how to create we will see in further discussion in in detail but i'm giving you a simple demo uh, to how to see this record from the xml end i'm going to in pycharm and uh, i will click i'm going to in add-ons part and search this one 
this ID and simply I'm using here XML not a Python file so you can see here this is a record which is created in XML and and uh, this is a model name and this is a ID actual ID and you can see these are these three fields I mean these three lines is a record uh, this three lines you can see here it's a field name like name field icon field and sequence you can see here the name having a meeting icon having a this far desk users and sequence having a nine as a record if I'm going to double check from the front end and I'm going to again here and you can see here this name this name having a meeting then after this icon having a far desk users and you can see these days and all it will by uh, like a in in this model having a, some default values so it's pop up here and one more field was like sequence it's not display here and it is not necessary like all fields will display here inform you so something like this way you can identify okay yeah this field is generated by Odoo or it's generated by the user so you can easily get the information using this view metadata this is only for the record purpose and we will check like how to use in code base I hope you understand this basic information about this get underscore like uh, you will get about this view metadata in case you have any query you can just comment below I will get back to you again I'm going to in PyCharm and I will close this one and open the terminal okay this one is my previous discussion about ensure underscore one and here I'm using the stood underscore list you can see here right now it's in a blank record set and I will I will use something like this search then after I will add all record will return into stood underscore list and you can see here total 16 records is available lan stood underscore list so you can see 16 record set is available for the double check like I'm going to in student profile and you can see here total records is available in this profile is 16 but we have also archived archived one so in those records is six so those records set is six but it is not useful while execute a normal search method in case you want to use that one also on archive you will get like you can see the previous discussion about search method I, I gave like all the possible operations over there so right now we are focusing for the 16 records and what we have to do here is only simple using like stood underscore list then after we have to use here get meta data that's it and once you will enter you can see like it will give the output as a list of dictionary first record set is like let me copy this one first okay I'm going to here and uh, here I will paste and you can see here this is a first record then after this is a second record from here to here then after this is a third record from here to here something like this but we will focus here right now is ID is 3 create UID is uh, 2 as administrator create that you can see here this format and then after write UID then after write date and XML ID and no update here you can see this XML ID is false and no update means false we will skip about this one we will see later one we will just focus on about only this one like XML ID false it means like uh, this record is not created by the Odoo itself it's created by the user and that user is administrator 
so you will uh, you you will easily identify okay this is created by user only and that username is this one and when it is created you can see the date and time so the similarly like here okay first of all we will see this record this record is this one XYZ and I will give you the and open this view metadata so you can see here this XML ID is null then after no update is also false similarly here then after ID is a 3 then after create and write date and create user and last modified by user is the same as administrator which is created by me in early discussions so you will get the information something like this and one more thing is yeah if I'm going to here in sales part and in configuration like this sense uh, this this model like mail activity type I'm going to again here in terminal like here self dot env then after mail dot activity dot type then after I will search all the records and I'm just adding like meta data and I will copy this one going to browser and format so you can see here while created by the Odoo you can see here this XML ID having this ID so you can easily identify and here is a model a module name and this is the ID of that uh, ID of that record in the XML site you will easily identify so you can see here this XML ID is false it means it's not created from the XML end and uh, you will not find in add-ons so similarly like this way you can identify okay this ID is available in XML end you can easily copy this ID and paste over there in add-ons and uh, search into XML end that's it or if you don't find in XML and you will search into CSV file and uh, we will cover this demo data or preloaded real data how to like I will give you of one more session about how to add like real data while installing any module using XML and CSV file and uh, see you in next session